Hello, this is part three of the FM tutorial, and we're going to be learning how to make uh, hi hats. Um, so let's have a look at a hi hat. This is just a sample I've loaded up in Renoise, if you listen to it. Fairly standard hi hat sound. What we're going to do is slow it down quite a lot. And you can see that the actual quality of the sound doesn't really change that much, but um, it does get quieter fairly quickly. And let's kind of zoom into the waveform a bit. You can see that this is a very irregular waveform, it's basically just noise, and this isn't something that we've been able to uh, generate so far with um, FM synthesis. So let's have a quick look at our FM program again. Um, so far, we've been using um, Algorithm 4, Modulator 2, and Carrier 4. Let's just very, very quickly turn those guys up. Let's drop our sustain rate a little bit. And um, here we've got a nice sound. Um, let's just turn up the modulator as much as we can, um, and turn up the carrier as much as we can. I'm just going to play this probably quite loud. Even if we got really high, it's it's still not what we really want for um, a hi hat. Even though it's kind of a sound a lot of interference to it. What we're going to do is we're going to use um, this pair here of modulator one and carrier number three, which we haven't used so far. So let's just do a quick demonstration. Just going to turn down our carrier quickly. So let's turn up number one and number three, let's reduce our sustain rate, let's turn both of these down for a second, let's do the opposite, oh sorry I had that um, volume, just down a little bit. So you can see that the two pairs, one and three and two and four, operate basically the same, they sound pretty much exactly the same. Um, the one thing that you'll notice is number one is blue, whereas number two is white. Um, if you very quickly look on the algorithms here, you can see in each algorithm, there's always a blue box around number one. This means that number one can do some kind of extra um, synthesizer magic. So in addition to feeding into carrier num sorry, did I say that right? Modulator number one can do a bit of extra magic. So in addition to feeding into three, it also can feed back into itself to create a kind of extra level of interference. So very quickly, let's get rid of these, the two and four pegs. We don't want that at the moment. And let's bring up, sorry, my mouse is broken, so I keep dropping things. Let's bring up um, pair number one and pair number three. If we have a look over here, we've got FB, which stands for feedback. Feedback usually goes from zero to seven on the earlier FM synth. So let's bring it up a little bit. Sound quality changed a bit. Getting a bit rougher. Kind of buzzy sound. Getting a bit messy. Starting to see the very beginning of some noise there. Very noisy. And that's a really, really noisy sound. So let's just super quickly go back to our hi-hat. It's not exactly the same sound, but it is a nice white noisy type thing. Let's see how close we can get. Let's keep that on C7, C7 for the moment. Now the envelope here is getting really quiet really, really fast, and we know how to do that because we've used envelopes on our kick drum already. So let's just bring the sustain level um, up. That's a little bit too long. It's taking a bit too long, so let's make it a bit shorter. Getting better. Might be useful in some situations, maybe a little bit too short. So let's bring it down to about 20, 18, 19. A little bit more. 
There you go. So that's a nice little hi-hat sound using feedback. Um, one quick thing, we don't really want to mess with the envelope for operator number one because we don't really want the quality of our noise to change. Because if you do something like that, you'll get a different sound, um, which is kind of more similar to our kick drum, which is not really what we want for this particular sound. So we want the noise to be fairly consistent, don't really want it to change. Um, so here you've got a kind of closed hi-hat. Um, if you open the envelope up a bit, more of a kind of open hi-hat sound. It's not perfect, but it will do for now. So that is the end of the tutorial. Let's just make a couple of extra notes. So it's the amount operator on, uh, sorry, operator. The amount modulator one feeds back into itself, and this is usually zero to seven. Um, just a super quick note: at the moment, we're using an FM synthesis software emulator, which is based on the Mega Drive. In this one, it's modulator one that feeds into itself. In other FM synthesizers, it might be modulator four, but I'll I'll get onto that a little bit later. But for now, uh, thank you very much. That's feedback and hi-hats.